Okay, in this week's video, we're gonna talk specifically about the PASS study. And this is really a study that was done um, because of all the more recent research showing that vitamin D deficiency is linked with high rates of implant failure, okay? In fact, the vitamin D deficiency rates uh, and complications, et cetera, are higher for vitamin D deficiency when compared to smoking or generalized perio. And so the PASS study was basically taking a vitamin D supplement kit which is Dentamedica, supplementing patients and making sure they get up to the right levels and seeing how effective this was to minimize patients from having deficiencies before we place implants. And so here's Dr. Paz, uh, who works at the White Clinic with, of course, uh, Dr. Miguel Stanley. And they looked at, again, the effect of vitamin D deficiency and antioxidant levels on wound healing and also on measuring and being able to characterize some of this stuff. And interestingly, they're European or living in Europe, and I gave them a North American test, testing machine to use as well as a European one. And so they actually compared two in-offices vitamin D measuring testing kits as well as correlated it with blood work. Okay, and that's what they did in their study. At the same time, they also measured antioxidant scores, and they used this device here that is non-invasive. Basically, uh, the more antioxidants you have, the more, um, whenever you shine certain lights, it'll measure basically antioxidants, and then it reflects back, and so you can measure it very non-invasively. This was a technology that was developed at the University of Utah, and uh, gives, you, gives you readings. And of course, everything's being correlated to blood work, so we're able to figure out what's working, what's not. Now, this is um, the results from a vitamin D test, and first thing that I wanna share with you is that in blue here is the lab scores. So this is the blood work, this is the rapid D test, and here's the vitamin 4D test in, in uh, orange and uh, gray here. And you see everybody is very, very close. Okay, and what this tells us is that the little in-office testing from a, a single finger prick, they're very, very accurate um, to give us data. So then in the study, the real question was, okay, what is the baseline values of these patients? put them through the six week protocol at Denimedica. After the six weeks, retest them, figure out where they're at, and figure out if they're in the right zone for implant placement. So that's what the study uh, was. And in the study, first thing that was very remarkable was that 82% of the population was vitamin D deficient, okay, 82%. And that was really critical because if we know that the link between vitamin D deficiency and implant failure is so high, you know, this became something that you know, needs to be corrected. Then they supplement with Denimedica for six weeks. After the six weeks, you'll notice that everybody is over the 30 nanogram range, okay? And most of them are between the 40 to 60 where you want them to be, okay? So that was point number one. Everybody got to good levels. Um, and some people, like I said, even got up to 80 or higher. Another thing that was interesting is that some people will go a lot higher, a lot faster, and it's based on you know their body metabolism, their absorption efficiencies, et cetera. And so always be a little bit cautious there as well because some people do uh, absorb a little bit faster. You never wanna give somebody two minute, too much vitamin D. In these cases here, it's 6,000 units per day, and you can see that some people will go from, for example, 30 all the way up to you know 84 here in a matter of six weeks of, of supplementing with 6,000 units. So you gotta make sure that you're not overdosing anybody either. Um, but in any event, the antioxidant score also showed you know, positive results. So everybody's getting improved with the antioxidant scores. And so the conclusions here was number one, the vitamin D in office tester is very accurate. Okay, it corresponds very, very well with blood work. And this, uh, the companies show that it's about 94% as accurate as blood work. Um, based on our studies, because we like to test everything, we found exactly the same thing. 70 to 80% of the population was deficient in vitamin D, okay? And that was remarkable because the correlation is very, very high with implant failure or early implant failure. And then Dentamedica brought every patient into ideal range within a six week period, okay? And some patients were actually being increased much faster than others owing to their absorption ability. So we always recommend, like I said, within North America at least, 6,000 units is really the upper limit for vitamin D intake. Um, and it was designed by a California-based company that uh, optimizes it's all medical grade under GMP standards. And in these cases here, like I said, they all absorb up to this, this level. 
And that's a nice little study that was done on this topic. And so I have to thank obviously the White Clinic for getting the data, um, as well as the information which will be published very shortly. So thank you guys very much this week for your attention and see everybody next week. Thank you. Thank you.